Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Baratza Encore ESP. The ESP, or Espresso, is a re-engineered version of the perennial favorite Baratza Encore. The Encore has been one of the best sellers in the specialty coffee industry for many, many years. To present the Encore ESP, I'm going to show you its features. I'm going to talk a little bit about what makes this different from the regular Encore, and then I'll show it to you in action. I'm going to brew both espresso and a pot of coffee with it. So here we have the Encore ESP. As you can see, it's available in two colors. We have the black and the white. On my black grinder here, you see I have this dosing cup, and this is for espresso. Now, the dosing cup is compatible with either a 54 millimeter portafilter, which is something that you'd see on a, like a Breville a machine, or it has a, an adapter ring, which I have on this one, makes it compatible with a 58 millimeter portafilter. So that's uh, uh, machines like E61s, the Gadget Classic I'm using right here, which I'm going to pull a shot with, uh, so you can use either or. Grinder also comes with a grounds bin, like I have on my white grinder here. This is fairly self-explanatory. This is what you would grind into for uh, if you need larger amounts of coffee, like I'm going to need in my Technovorm uh, when I brew that pot of coffee. The grind adjustments up here, and this is really what makes the ESP different from the previous Encore. So it still has the uh, 40 steps, zero to 40. However, the lower range, which is the espresso range, has a higher resolution, meaning each one of those clicks is gonna make a smaller change than it previously did on the Encore. So you can really dial in your espresso, because sometimes I find that if you try to use the espresso or a stepped grinder for brewing espresso, the one step could be too much. Uh, at one point, you can have a, a shot that's going too slowly, but then if you coarsen it, it could be going too quick. Uh, this improves the resolution greatly, so you can really dial it in to get the best out of your coffee. The range from 20 to 40, that's the coarser range, and that's what you'll use for uh, things like drip coffee, AeroPress, uh, and even French press if you wanted to. If you go all the way coarse, you can even make a French press with this grinder. You also have two options to activate the grinder. There's a switch on the right-hand side here, which is basically on and off, or if I wanted to add a little bit more to that, I can press this button at the front, and that just pulsates and it delivers coffee on demand. Up here we have the hopper and uh, this is a 230 gram hopper and a little bit unique with this grinder, the way you adjust the grind is actually by moving the hopper. So I'm not gonna move this one because I do have it dialed in, uh, but on the white one, if I want it to go coarser, I turn it counterclockwise or to go finer, I go clockwise and you move that hopper in order to adjust your grind. The Encore ESP features European made 40 millimeter conical burrs. Those are made out of steel and it has a 550 RPM motor, and a slower speed is desirable because there's less heat generated, uh, which doesn't transfer to the coffee, less static, and also less noise. So now let's see the grinder in action, let's brew some coffee. And uh, first I'm gonna do a shot of espresso with my Gadget Classic, and I'm just gonna grind coffee into my uh, dosing cup here. And I have a scale right here, which is teared, and I'm aiming for uh, about 18 grams of coffee, so I'm a little bit under. I'm gonna add a little bit. Oh, 17.9. Let's call that 18 right there. So this is a 58 millimeter portafilter, and what I like to do is just uh, put the portafilter on top of the dosing cup and just turn it upside down and get the coffee in like that using an NCD distribution tool. And we're getting a really nice extraction. You can see it's a nice thick crema. Stop it right there. And I've got two really nice shots of espresso. Let me just show that to you because this is really good looking crema, uh, nice striping. Uh, these shots are ready to enjoy. And that's espresso. So you see we're able to pull a, a very nice shot, also a very tasty shot, using the Encore ESP and the Gadget Classic, which make a fantastic pair, by the way. 
Now I want to show you the versatility of this grinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the grind to 28. And that's what the manual says is uh, a good setting for drip coffee. So I'm just going to turn this counterclockwise. Right there, I have 28. And instead of grinding into the dosing cup, I'm just going to remove this and set this aside. This bottom little piece is also uh, j just the rest for the dosing cup. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to borrow the grounds bin from my white grinder. And I'm also going to go by weight. So I'm going to tear this. And now I'm aiming for about uh, 50 grams of coffee. This is a 1.25 uh, liter uh, brewer, uh, Technivore Mocha Master. I, I like to do 10 grams per 250 milliliters of water. So to grind a larger amount, it's easier just to use the, uh, the switch. I turn it on and it grinds into the uh, grounds bin. Just gonna see where it's at. So I've got about 37 and a half grams, so I do need a little bit more. And that's 49.8 grams, close enough. Okay, so now I just need to put my, transfer my coffee into my uh, filter here. So I just go directly from the grounds bin there. It's always a little bit of static, so I'll just get, tap it to get the the remainder of the grinds out and I start brewing. So my brew is just about done. Those are the last kind of drops. Uh, I actually timed this. Of course, we're not going to show it in real time in the video because uh, it would be quite tedious. <laughs> but uh, it was about six minutes, which is actually what, uh, what's recommended for Technivorm. So I'm going to pour myself a cup of this and give it a try. Smells good and it's really hot, but it, it does taste great. So as we saw, the Encore ESP is a very versatile grinder. It can do uh, coarser grinds like drip coffee, but it also has that component for espresso, which is really uh, the most demanding part for a grinder, is that fine grind, getting it right so you can get a great tasting espresso. The Encore ESP is a very versatile grinder. It's capable of brewing an entire pot of coffee and also espresso with a very simple adjustment of the grind coarseness. What's really impressive with the Encore ESP is its value. This grinder is priced at a very accessible level and it can help you get started on your espresso and specialty coffee journey. This is a great choice if you're just getting involved and you want a grinder that can do different things uh, like coarser grinds. It's, it's just as capable of doing drip and espresso as it is doing other methods like Aeropress, Chemex or French press. You have the option to do all of these great coffees with just one single grinder. If you have any questions about the Encore ESP or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about coffee grinders, espresso machines, coffee machines, everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.